Hello friends, welcome to To The Point. In this session, we are discussing about restoring balance in ecosystem and the measures to check for spoilage of the landscape. The land consists of 29% of earth surface and 71% of water. Land has soil, forest, agricultural lands, mountains, human habitations, animals, water bodies, etc. Man has been exploiting land and its resources. Man has been clearing forest lands for agriculture and hence there is a shortage of land. Agricultural practices have undergone a change and today the man cultivates genetically modified food crops and cash crops and these require a change in techniques of production and support systems like better irrigation facilities, inputs like fertilizers and pesticides. As the demand of the growing population for shelter and economic activities, transportation and recreational activities has increased, the pressure for the land use pattern is also being increased. In order to meet the demand for land, natural lands are being converted to other land use patterns which results in the destruction of the land cover. The change in land use patterns which are induced by the human activities can be easily judged from the following. From 1700 to the mid 1980s, the crop land has been increased globally. That is from 392% to 466%. The crop land naturally grew at the expense of the forest, grasslands and wetlands. The net irrigated cropland has been increased over the past 200 years. It has been increased to 80,000 square kilometer to 20 lakh square kilometer. The worldwide tree cover has been decreased about 15%. Land cover changes had led to the loss of 27,000 spaces annually in tropical forest. Let's discuss about what are the causes of land degradation. Land degradation it takes place because of two reasons. One is natural causes and the other is man-made causes. Natural causes, they include different types of feathering and erosion process like landslides, earthquakes, desertification, drought and floods. Man-made causes, it includes human activities which disturbs the environment like mining, farming, deforestation, waste disposition, development activities like setting up human habitations, transport and communication etc. Natural causes. Some of the natural causes are earthquakes, desertification, landslides, floods and droughts. Earthquakes. The violent earthquakes, they bring change on the surface of the earth. They disturb the earth and the pattern of the earth. Earthquake damages all the buildings, electric and water supply. This submerge land under the sea also. Sometimes the river disappears or it changes their courses or get flooded because of the earthquake. Desertification. Desertification, it is a process of sustained land degradation in arid, semi-arid and dry sub-humid areas. Areas that are next to the desert, they are more prone to desertification because increasing aridity and wrong use of the resources like cutting down of the trees, overgrazing and clearing of the marginal lands, it leads to desertification. Let's discuss about some of the activities done by human that leads to the rate of desertification. Overgrazing of the land, it exposes soil to forces of erosion and it transforms land into barren landscape and finally into a wasteland. Mining activities for extracting natural resources, it adversely affects the local landscape and due to large scale digging up process, these activities affect the moisture content of the soil and that leads to desertification. Unscientific irrigation of the arid lands for a considerably longer period, it contributes to desertification. Desertification of areas it takes place from uncontrolled exploitation of groundwater, 
mismanagement of watersheds, siltation and drying up of rivers. Landslides This refers to a sudden or a gradual movement of rocks or soil mass down the hill slopes due to the force of gravity. The occurrence of the landslides is more common during the rainy season. Landslides, it results in the movement of soil, solid rocks and soil masses. This have a significant drift. Floods and drought. Floods, they cause loss to life and property. They degrade the land by flooding settlements. Floods and drought, they destroy the agricultural land through sand deposition and salinization. They destroy forest, wildlife, leaching of the soil cover of its nutrients, etc. Drought refers to the period of dryness that is caused by the absence of rainfall or due to rainfall being lower in the particular area or region. Drought has the following effects. When drought is caused, it leads to shortage of food because the crop production is less. Drought lowers the level of the ground water. It also lowers the rate of microbial decomposition into the soil. It decreases the rate of mineral formation in the soil. It leads to increase in the number of forest fires. Man-made causes Population growth Population problems These are the two major problems which are caused by man. Population growth is one of the major problem. Population grows at a faster rate in a developing countries. India's population explosion, it neutralizes the benefits of its economic progress. Most of the economic activities that takes place in the cities, it offer a better life to the people. So, the pressure on available resources in the cities is greater. Expanding cities that encroach on surrounding areas, it converts for its use any kind of land including fertile fields. Land that is utilized for infrastructure such as roads, industries, tourist facilities, etc. If a proper measures and guidelines are given to the population control, then the country will not face a serious sequence in the future. One must remember that man must control the nature and he must also control his numbers. Population problems As the population is growing, the pressure is also increasing on the resource base, especially on the arable land. That has created many socio-economic and environmental problems. Most of the world's population live in developing countries. China and India have over 20% and 16% of the total world's population. The developing countries have over three-fourths of the total world population. Rapid growth of population, unemployment, inadequacy of housing and health, diminishing resources or the problems that are affecting the developing countries. Increased demand for agriculture. As the population grows, there is a demand for farming to meet the food demand. Demand for the land is enhanced by external interest. For example, forests are cleared to convert the land to grasslands in order to provide food for the cattle. Intensive farming operations, it exhausts the soil of its nutrients. The fertilizers and pesticides which are used to enhance production, it gets washed off the fields and they pollute the rivers and lakes and sometimes leach into subsurfaces and lower the quality of groundwater. Both fertilizer production and irrigation require energy. Therefore, the harnessing of energy takes toll of the environment. Unemployment. Unemployment, it is one of the biggest problem in the developing countries. The population largely depend on agriculture. But there are very limited opportunity for the semi-skilled, unskilled and the highly educated people. Therefore, the rural areas are the places where from the large number of unskilled workers, they migrate to cities, thus creating pressure on the land. Urbanization and Consumption 
urbanization the major rural population in the cities those who have come for the better earning opportunities has led to deterioration in the environment of urban areas and this pace of urbanization has transferred the natural green landscape into polluted landmass urban sprawl and the slums expansion it created a pressure on the land use as well as the environmental problems the highly productive agricultural land that is used for urban houses roads and industries due to this uncontrolled urbanization environmental degradation is being taking place due to shortage of the land shortage of houses worsening water quality excessive air pollution noise dust and heat and the problems of disposal of solid wastes and hazardous wastes urbanization it is associated with industrialization it has created environmental problems like growth of slums industrial pollutions air water soil etc the problems of the air pollution is very acute in urban areas but one of the major reasons for the environmental pollution is the combustion of fossil fuels and their products motor vehicles in the urban areas are many and they produce hydrocarbons carbon oxide nitrous oxide and lead particles consumption the wealthiest nations in the developed countries they consume most of the resources and release most pollution and they have the greatest capacity to make the necessary changes the increased production in the wealthy nations is no longer serves to satisfy the needy rather it creates a needs to serve and increase the production the exploitation of a resource by which nations it has a considerable impact on the landscape the impact of land degradation it can be summarized as removal of the trees and vegetation construction of houses construction of septic tanks diversion of nearby streams for public supply accelerated land erosion and pollution of streams and wells commercial degradation it gives rise to floods annual runoff levels and it causes global warming in many parts of the world human beings they supply water by pumping it from the ground water sources thus it has two effects reduction in the level of water table and the replacement of coastal areas of fresh water by the salt water water pollution it has become a acute problem in today's modern society the causes of the water pollution it is classified into the following groups sewage and other oxygen demanding wastes infectious agent organic chemicals other chemical and mineral substances sediments radioactive substances heat or thermal pollution dumping of wastes land pollution is a result not only of man's misuse of land but also due to solid waste disposal solid waste are dumped into the ocean and on open grounds mining waste they are produced at the rate of millions of tons per day slag heaps and mill tillings accumulate near the processing operations and industrial refuse contaminates streams and lakes domestic and municipal wastes one of the main cause for the land and soil pollution is a growing quantity of domestic and municipal wastes household garbages like food scraps plastic items bottles discarded papers etc the total quantity of the solid waste is a large and increasing and therefore the domestic and municipal waste is also increasing industrial and mining waste the disposal of the industrial solid waste it is a major source of soil pollution by toxic chemicals the industrial waste are discharged from coal and mineral mining industries 
and as well as metal processing industries. And this waste is from the manufacturing sectors. It contains toxic metals like lead, copper and chemicals having acids. And therefore, all these toxic metals are responsible for soil pollution. Exploitative use of resources. We have already over exploited our natural resource without caring for their sustainable use. The signs of the exploitative use of resources are extensive deforestation which accounts to the loss of flora and fauna of that area, drying up with drinking water sources, frequency of floods and droughts, land degradation, deterioration in the quality of air and water, unplanned urbanization that leads to unprecedented growth of urban slums. Let's discuss about how to sustainably use all our natural resources. Sustainable use of resources means we have to use our resources to meet the demands of the present without compromising the ability of the future generations to achieve their own requirements. The following measures are cultivation of the land that taking adequate care of soil fertility, development of irrigation facilities with proper water management, use of water saving devices like traditional conservation methods and rooftop water harvesting should be used. Use of biofertilizers and biopesticides in order to have biological balance. Judicious use of underground water to avoid steep fall in underground water level. Use of traditional seeds instead of high yielding hybrid varieties to avoid the spread of disease that are capable of wiping out the entire crop. And finally, avoiding the use of non-degradable material like plastic to prevent problems of waste management. That's all for the session guys. Thank you.